Jared Poland Fronos Photo.com. And this is your top five from December 3rd and 4th, where the theme was eyes. And it's brought to you by Adorama Picks. They are the ones that give away the free photo books for these uh, for the winners of the top five each week and somebody from Facebook. So if you haven't checked out those Adorama Picks book, I actually brought up one, two, three, four, five, six. I, got, I have seven of them myself just sitting on my desk for when people come in to my place. They can just play with them or check them out. So let's see who won last week. We have the vote down here at the bottom, and it was 211 votes for Brian Tech and, 200 and 201 votes for John Does Not Know Photo. So it was very, very close, and the winning photo right here was Gotham City with Batman. Batman's here to protect you. Anyway, that was last week. So, Brian, congratulations. One person who left a comment down here in the Facebook comment box will be winning an Adorama Picks book as well. They will be contacted via Facebook. So let's get into the top five of eyes. Oh, by the way, if you want to see the critique, you can click right here to see the critique. It's going to jump further into the video because I'm putting the critiques now, or for this time, at the end of the video. We're going to try that out for a little bit and, and so that you can see the top five and then see the critique right after in the same video so you don't have to see too many videos. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you want to keep them separate with the top five first and then another video with the critique, or would you like to see... Uh, it done this way with the top five followed by the critique in the same video. Also, we're going to get to the new theme. I'll just tell you the new theme right now, and then we'll have more information on that at the end, is triangles, and that's for the weekend of December 10th and 11th. Uh, so you can start shooting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can shoot through Tuesday, and then you can post up until Thursday around 6.30 Eastern time and vote for the top five from this week. So triangles it is. Look for just different angles and intersecting lines and triangles like corners, things, angles, triangles. Have fun with that. So here we go in the top five. Let's get right into this. The very first photo here is from Jake Vale Photo. Um, yeah, he used Photoshop. Now people have been asking me, is it okay if I use Photoshop to make composites or to do something for my top five or raw edits or, or things like that? And Absolutely. If that's what you feel you need to do or you feel like you would like to do, then by all means, go ahead and do it. This was a great play on eyes. And what I was looking for this week was not just tight shots of eyes. I'm looking for emotion that's exuded because of the eyes, because the eyes hold so much. In this case, Jake decided to cut the eyes out of the face, fill in the eye sockets so they're no longer there, take his glasses off, and the eyes came off with the glasses. Great concept, great execution. That's why it's here in the top five. Um, so be sure to vote for one of the ones that you like. These are in no particular order. And down below, you will see how you can vote um, when you come to the page. Next one is J.K. J, J.K. Kolak, I guess it is. This is a soft image. They used a flash. Uh, I know they sent me a little low-res one, but this is really good. It's so soft. The eyelashes and eye, well, being that the eyes aren't open, they're not, you know, the tightest thing, you know, in focus because they're not there. But the eyelashes and the eyelids where the eyes would be behind are extremely sharp. This is a beautiful, soft image. Captures a great moment. I believe the baby was in the tub, uh, I guess taking a bath. And this is solid, really nice. I just love how soft and clean and, and sharp it is on the eyelashes. Look how beautiful the eyelashes are. They're just so, they're, they're wet and they just look great. Amazing photo. I really like that a lot. And here we have Megalyn. Magdalene. Magdalene. Yeah. I like this one a lot. This is this is really cool. The guy is just, I mean, it said they used an SB600 really hard light. I like the execution of what was going on. Um, it, it's a play on that whole RCA thing, I would think, uh, where they're getting blown away by the sound. But this is really cool. You've got the speakers. You've got the two turntables. I don't see a microphone. Uh, oh, the, even just all the little details in this. The, the fact that the detail of the lampshade is tilted this way is really important. I mean, this shows that they, they did something and they tried hard, and I really like the execution of this photo. It takes some work, and I know that, you know, eyes may not be the most prevalent thing in here, but it's a great photo nonetheless, and that's why it is here in the top five. Let's get to this one, Vector MX. There were a couple edits of this, and I thought this was the stronger one. It was taken with a Canon 40D, um, 
Interesting edit. The colors are interesting as well, but I, I like this. It jumps out. I like the way that it looks. The composition is right on. The subject is in a nice spot. The way that this all frames the subject is great. I don't know if this is the mountains. I don't know if what this is back here, but the feel that I get is that there's a natural vignette drawing you right in to the solid eyes of the model right here. So great job, Vector MX, on that. And then the last photo right here is from Jack Oxenbury Photo. And, you know, yes, it's a tighter shot of the eyes, but there's more behind it. You've got the freckles. You've got the slight smirk. You've got, it's just the eyes are great. And, you know, you can see the photographer in the eyes. Um, I like this shot a lot. I don't, obviously, I don't think fill light was used here. Maybe a little bit brighter in the face would be even better. But I, I like the emotion that was captured here. I just... I'm, I'm looking right at the eyes, and you're trying to figure out what's going on, and they're looking right back at you. It's a really cool, and plus I had this hair when I was a kid. It's all curly and, and stuff. Um, I like this photo. I'm drawn to it. I like the freckles. I like, I just, I like it. And, and that's really what grabbed me. So those are your top five images this week to vote for. The vote box will be down here, right around here, when I put it in there for you guys to go ahead and vote on. And so there you have that. You got that one. That one, this one, and this one. So please go ahead and do a vote, or go ahead and vote for the one that you like to help them win an Adorama Pix Rapid Fire book. It's not called a Rapid Fire book. It's an Adorama Pix Photo Hardback book, which I got a bunch of them over there. Uh, and also be sure to leave a comment down below in the Facebook comment box on why you selected the one that you did select so that we know, and that gets you a chance to win a book as well. Remember, the theme for the 10th and the 11th of the weekend is triangles. Uh, it doesn't, you know, don't just go out and shoot triangles. Look for these angles all over the place. Look for the lines that are intersecting somewhere. I mean, you're going to see some very interesting things. And the weekend theme is all about getting out there and shoot uh, and shooting. Um, so, you know, enjoy, get out and shoot. Maybe I'll start to transition away from picking themes that don't, or, or the top five where there's nothing to do with the theme in that to help you guys go ahead and you know, basically focus on what the theme is and go out and create that, and then maybe those become the top five. We'll see how that works out, um, but that doesn't mean if you... I still want you guys to post your weekend photos anyway, no matter what you take, and they can be in the honorable mentions, and uh, also they can be, yeah, in the critique and honorable mentions. So we're going to get to the critique right after this, and I'm trying that right at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Here is your critique for the, what was it? It was the 3rd and the 4th of December, and the theme was eyes. But let's get right into the critique. I have, what, 17 photos to talk about. I hope you like seeing this at the end of the other video. Remember what I said. Let me know if you prefer to have the, the video separate, the top five, and then another video with the critique, or you like seeing them both in the same video, uh, and that's up to you. So here we go. We've got this first photo. It was taken at, I guess, some kind of asylum that was shut down, and the person was using their new Sigma 10 to 20 lens. And what a great processing, a great bit of processing here. This could be HDR in black and white, but I really like what's going on here. I thought that this worked well. The slide, it's, it's, the, it's rusted away, and you've got the asylum in the background. You've got whatever these tent things used to be and the overgrown grass got down on a great level. This is definitely an honorable mention for this week. Um, very nice job done here. Uh, nice black and white, nice tones, and just really captures the moment that it's just all run down and it's just gone, and, and it's really cool that way. Um, nice shot of a guy out on the street. Got a lot, He has a lot of tattoos. Very interesting guy, and I bet you he's a really nice guy. Um, who knows? You never know if he's a really nice guy. I'd like to know the story behind it. Is this a friend of somebody? Is this a random guy on the street? How did you... I love it. He's got the 666. He's got the 13 over here. He's got... Uh, that's a naked woman right there. Um, I don't know what it says on the neck. Spin? Spain? I think it says Spain on the neck, so that's interesting. Nice black and white. The eyes draw you in. Nice processing, nice tones. This is an honorable mention as well. This was very close. I like this one. Uh, moving here, nice eyes. Um, it's interesting color. And it's also an interesting tilt on the, the camera. I'm not a huge, huge fan of that, but I think this is good. Um, the eyes look nice. The color's throwing me off a little bit. I think it may be a little too greenish. But, you know, I would like to try processing this. So if you would send in a raw, if you want to send in this raw file, I think this would be a good one for people to edit. So um, 
Burina, you know, send me a, an email to my regular email or, or leave a comment below on how I could reach you and I'll reach out to you if you want to send in this raw file to froknowsphoto at gmail.com. I think a lot of people would like to edit this one and it would be, it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, so honorable mention here as well. Then we got the dog sitting there by the tree. This is cool. Um, nice, nice work with the light. I would like to see a little bit of fill light kicked back into this side so that you could see a little bit of this eye. But other than that, I thought it was really cool with the, the, the hat on the dog, the Christmas tree with the gifts under it. Nice, nice job making this happen, honorable mention there. Thought this was great as well. Just taking the toothpicks. What great dimensions there are in the toothpicks. The one light coming in from up top. You've got the nice color. You've got the lid, I guess, is off the toothpicks. And just the way that they're strewn in there really makes it an interesting photo. So nice job there. Nice honorable mention. Um, we have a cross-eyed cat. The reason I put this in here is just... It's all about composition in this. I'm not saying that this, this one is more of the critique part. Uh, it's where the, the legs are cut off, the paws, sorry, are cut off. I can live with the ears being cut off. Um, in this case, if I was to sit here with my See the World keychain, I would want to come in, I'd come up higher. And right about here is about the lowest I would cut off if I was doing this photo. Now, I understand that the cat was probably walking towards you and you only have the ability to do so much. But in this case, you could raise your angle slightly and then just get to about here, which would give you a nice composition. But other than that, it's got cross-eyed eyes, kitty. Uh, this was a cool play. We've got the glasses focusing. I mean, everything else is out of focus. We got the A, O, E. You know what's funny? Every time I go to the, the, the eye doctor for the last 20 years, the same place uh, or longer, the chart still is the same. It has IGNU. I can read down to IGNU, but the problem is I've remembered that it's IGNU, and that's not good. So I have to find out, some, they need to change letters for me so I can, I'm blind anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I thought this was a really, really cool play. Nice concept. I, I would like to see it a little more contrasty. There's a little too much gray in it just for me personally, but I'd like to see it a little more contrasty. I think it's, it's a cool, nice job. And, and yeah, honorable mention there. Then this was just like an eyeball. I just thought it was cool to show the eyeball. They, I don't know if it's an ophthalmologist or an optometrist, how they took this, but this is really cool. Look at the veins. It's an eyeball. I like it. Really nice. Look at that. We got nice light on the eyes, nice and soft. The eyes are nice and sharp. I just thought it was, it was an, definitely an honorable mention. Um, I'm looking for a little bit more emotion in it. it. You know, it grabs me a little bit, but it doesn't fully go like awesome, awesome, awesome. So just a little bit of feedback. Would, I know it's impossible to tell the kid how to act or what moment to capture, but maybe if these eyes were contacting the camera and looking right through, that it would give it a little bit more emotion because it's all about the emotion. Something like this. The emotion is there because the eyes, you're making a connection with the eyes. Um, you know, the baby is just laying there going, so cute. And look at the blue eyes. It just, that draws you in when the eyes are looking right at you. This is really great too, nature. I know how hard nature is to shoot. And I know some people shoot nature fake, like they have the, the, the dead bugs and then they shoot them because they're not moving. But I guess in the nature is a little harder. Really nice job here. Um, focused right in on that red eye. Uh, what is this, a cricket or a prey mantis or something along those lines? I don't know, but this is a really good shot. I'm giving this an honorable mention as well. Just love the colors. Looks like it's taken late in the day, which is great because the light's just coming right in there. The separation from the background's incredible. Nice job there. Squirrel! <laughs> I'll go back to that. I just like that it's a different play on the squirrel. The kitty's watching the squirrel, so uh, that's why that's there. Um, this was a cool crop also. It's a bird, perfectly cropped square, and I think it works very well. I'd like to see a little bit more contrast in, in this area. This is, is blowing out too much in my mind. The focus does go to the eyes, but I'd like to see this a little darker just to see what would happen. But this is a nice, nice shot, nice job. Um, so we've got the, this viewer. I think it's the color here that's throwing me off. And I know that she does this a lot each, you know, a lot of her photos take on this type of color. And I'd like to see this color done a little differently. I'd like to edit this. You know, if you want to send this one in, P -I -C -U -O Cat, which I say every week, let me know exactly how to say that name. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see this done I'd like to see us edit this one. If you want to send that in, let me know. You have my email, I'm pretty sure. So I'd like to see this one. Uh, squirrel! And then we got this guy. 
Uh, I thought this was a cool shot taken with a D7000. Now, for some reason, it said that it was shot at 1 20th of a second at 100 ISO with a 70 to 200. Now, that would be breaking all the rules. I think maybe they possibly meant to say 1 200th of a second at 100, but I, I'm not really sure because if this was taken at a 20th of a second at 100 ISO, uh, the recommendation would be to bump that ISO to at least 400 because that's 100 to 200 and then 400. Um, that's two stops difference because you go from one to two and then two to four is two stops. That would take your 20th of a second to 40th to a 60th. That's still not even enough in my mind. If you're using a 70 to 200, I'd probably go to 800 ISO, which is another. That means you go from 60th to about 125th of a second, and that would give you a, a better ability to freeze. Uh, I think this is nice and sharp, but I like this image as well. Um, Fro Vader, I love M&Ms. I would just sit there and like, boom. <laughs> lick the M&Ms up because I loves me some M&Ms. Uh, and that brings us back to the asylum. So there you go. There you have it. The weekend theme for the 10th and the 11th of December is triangles. Go out there, have fun, try to shoot the theme, and then shoot everything else that you want to shoot. So let me know again what you think about these photos or uh, this format giving you the top five followed by the critique. Hopefully it's not too long, but leave your comments down below about what you think about this format, and then we will see what we do from there. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!